Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Joe here. Uh, you know, YouTube makes it so hard to upload videos. I started this fly and it's giving me some shit preparing to import. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes waiting to see what's going on. Um, I just want to tell you now, this is going to be a pretty long video. Um, I had some requests to make some bait fish patterns and um, here I am. I'm going to show you my bait fish pattern that I use. It's going to be with Enrico Baglisi's fiber. Um, only need a couple of, uh, couple of items here. It's going to be, uh, I'm sorry I'm rushing, but I already started. I'm going to try to recreate this somehow. Um, Tamco hook, model, uh, TMC 800S. Purple thread. The bait fish pattern is going to be purple. And black. I don't know what it imitates, but the stripers and the bluefish absolutely demolish it. Yellow eyes, they stand out nice against the fiber. Some flesh. And that's it. <clears throat> Basically what I did, um, put the hook in the vise, put a little bit of Sally Hansen along the shaft of the hook. I tied in about two and a half inches of flesh right at the back of the hook here that's it that's all I did was tie right there okay and I'm gonna show you what I did with this this is actually Enrico Felici's fiber here very good um, Enrico ties an amazing 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 fly but uh, he doesn't have many uh, instructional videos and um, the only way that you could learn is if someone knows how to tie his pattern the only way I found out is by asking a million questions to the guys that I learned how to fly fish from. And the guys that I fly fish are probably fly fish with. They're probably in their 60s. And um, I'm 26. And I'm probably the only one out of all those guys who knows how to use a computer. So I'm here and trying to pass it on. Okay, so the fiber is about 11 inches long. Okay. To tie this first piece on, what you do is take a little pinch and take this stuff out of the bag. Don't try to pull it out in the bag. All you trying, all you want to do is grab maybe 15, 20 fibers to get this small piece. What I did was fold this in half. Okay. Cut it, and you get a piece about this big. What you do is just lay it on the back of the hook, right, right at the barb of the hook. Lay it down at the halfway point, tie it in, and you will have something like this. With a little bit in front, and a little bit in back. You tie that in with about two or three loops. You can let it, you know, you would let it go. Then you take the part that comes out in front, fold it back, and you have something like this. And you just tie it in. And that's what you have there. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you this, but you guys know what it's like to take a fly apart and put it back together. I ain't gonna do that. Okay, so after you tie your flesh, you tie the black. Black is going to be on top, um, purple is going to be on the bottom. Okay, so. Now, I already cut uh, one of those lengths in half with the purple. There it is. Now, what you want to do is when you cut it, you don't want it all flat on top. You know, pick a little bit out, make it tapered so it's nice and like, you know, um, like, a, like a stretched out diamond shape, tapered on both ends. Now as I spin my shiny new Dyna King vise here, purple's gonna go on the bottom. So find a halfway point in the fiber. You want to tie it right about at the same spot where you tied the black in, but on the underside of it. Okay, so right there. If 
few loops, a few. Uh, then you take a bodkin or scissors or whatever. You divide a little bit on that side of the hook. Hold on the other side. Pull this up. Same thing with the other part. And just pull that right back. Turn it back. Pull it nice and tight. Okay. It's hard to see. So you have black on top, purple on the bottom. And basically what you're going to be doing is just doing the same step. Just a little bit of black, a little bit of purple, a little bit of black, a little bit of purple, a little bit of black, a little, little bit of purple. Then when you get to the tip, or about halfway down, you tie a couple pieces along the sides, and you come across just to cover the shaft. And you're money, baby. You are money. Okay, here we go. So, let's get started now. Let's get, let's get serious now about this. Now the black. Just ahead of it. Just ahead of the black on top. Two or three wraps. Bang. Pull the back, three wraps, done. Now, you see the way it's starting to make a nice little body already? You guys are going to absolutely love this fly. Okay? A little bit of purple. Taper it. Underneath. Divide it. Now just keep in mind guys, it's December 1st. I'm taking a break from my hunting. I uh, haven't been doing too good this year. Uh, came down with a little bit of cold, so I've been out of commission for the past couple of days. So I said, let me make a few flies for... Some of my subscribers here. Look at this fly. Let me take it out of the vise because it just is absolutely amazing already. Okay. Now I know what you guys are saying. What the fuck is going to eat a purple and black fly? I don't know. Something will. Guaranteed. Okay. Now. Get another. You know, this is the pinch I took before. Cut it in half. Now we got two pieces. Put one down. Taper it a little bit. Just pull out a little bit. On top. Over. Okay, now don't worry about the shape that it's going to be, because this is going to all get trimmed. This is going to all get trimmed really nice. Okay, now, here we go. This is what we're going to do here. Purple. Take a little bit out. This fiber kink's really easy, but it's so worth it, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to cut this in half. And we're going to cut that half in half. Now we have two short little pieces. Okay, I'm going to stop this video and we'll be right back.